Today we're going to be talking about brewing batch brew or the classic, the very well-known drip coffee. We're going to be using two specific machines here, the Ratio 6 coffee brewer and the Fellow Ode grinder. The Ratio 6 is a very simple but sleek and elegant machine that delivers exceptional coffee. It's made up of a few main parts. The body of it, we have the carafe with the lid, and the actual brew basket, which comes apart into three pieces. One thing about this brewer is the fact that it's a one button brewer. It does all the work for you. So you add the coffee, add the water, and let it do its thing. The other part that I really enjoy is actually how the brew basket is made. It doesn't have a lot of thick plastics, it's fairly simple, and it's a flat bottom base brew basket. The other thing that it has is it has this cover with a silicon rubber lid that helps keep temperature. And finally, my favorite part, after we brew a nice batch, we need somewhere to set this without making a mess on the table, and it has this drip tray here. This is the original Fellow Ode grinder, an all sleek black, which I absolutely love. And our recipe today is 63 grams of coffee to one liter of water. So it's gonna absolutely kill in the best way possible, the 63 grams of coffee. And then we're gonna add the one liter of water to this tank here. So let's start with the water. Grind size to start off with is right in the middle, basically it's a five. All right, now that we have our coffee ground and it's ready to go, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna take this basket and add a filter. Definitely gotta rinse that filter. No papery taste necessary. All right, 63 grams of coffee on the dot. We're gonna add the collar, where's it at? And we're gonna set it in. Next, it's just a very simple, flat, sleek little button right here. Press it, it doesn't really even make a noise, but there is a blinking light. So what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna do an initial bloom phase, and after the bloom phase, it's gonna go for, for the full brew. That's what I love about this ratio. It's so simple. It does everything, it has a fantastic spray head. We may dive into more of the technicalities of this brewer later, but it does a wonderful, simple, and easy clean job. The other thing is, with this combo, these two machines work very well together. One thing is the brewer loves absolutely brewing at about that one liter mark, which is not to the max, but also not too low. Now, when it comes to the fellow Ode grinder, because we're brewing at such a high dose at 63 grams, the actual bed in the brew basket is gonna be pretty thick. One of the things that we need is we need that water to move through that bed fairly quick, yet extracting the coffee very well. And that's where it comes to the grind setting of five to start off with. This grinder does an excellent job at grinding at coarser grind settings. It allows for much more uniform grind size and therefore a much more balanced and even extraction. Pair that with thick bed, it allows the water to move at a very even and flat rate. Therefore, there's a minimal amount of channeling. Two things for us to look at. We're gonna look at the brew bed. How even is it? How high did the coffee rise? And second, when we taste the coffee, there's a few things that we have to have in the back of our mind. Is the coffee sour? Is the coffee bitter? Because this is a great starting point for grind size, but every coffee is gonna be different. There's so many elements that are gonna play a role in how it extracts, whether that's roast, whether that's varietal, whether that's the origin of the coffee, those things are gonna make an impact on how fine or coarse you wanna grind your coffee. But five is an excellent starting point. If you look at the edges, the coffee rose just to that level of the filter. It didn't really go over the top, didn't make a mess, didn't spill over and go into your carafe but the water level was sufficient. Looks fairly even. There's no major craters. The coffee uh, doesn't look like sludgy. It looks like a medium ground 
excellent brew bed right there. So therefore, to me, that's already a great sign that the potential of this cup is going to be pretty good. The reality is we don't know until we taste. So let's taste this coffee. Being it very, very hot, the first thing I notice is that the acidity is nice and bright, but it's also not sharp and sour. There's a very big difference. And when you taste that, you can taste like nice mellow, like a orange acidity or something that is like a very, very bad lemonade that cuts through so bad that you can't finish it. What I'm tasting with it being this hot is that it's actually fairly good. Like there's acidity, but it's not killing you. There's a bit of balance there. It has the acidity, it follows through with sweetness and the body of the cup or the strength of the cup is also not weak. It's a nice medium strength. And that is why we started out with a one to 16 ratio. It's right in that happy medium right here, right now. Excellent brew. And that's why I highly recommend pairing this setup together. It's very easy to master a nice tasting cup. There you have it, folks. A very simple and easy way to brew batch brew. I hope this video really helped you take your batch brewing up a notch. And if this is your first time brewing with the ratio six or the fellow oat, I hope that this gives you a starting point. From then on, you can explore and try different ratios, grind sizes, amounts of water, and see what happens. Go ahead and have fun brewing. And remember, reflect what's good.